friends. My name is Deidre and this is Hero. We are here for your at home story time with San Mateo County Libraries. So you know how my story time works or maybe you don't. It's very easy. We keep it easy so you can do everything at home yourself. So if you want to bring a friend to story time, it could be a pet or it could be a stuffed friend. You can go get one now. And you can also get anything that you have that you can use as a scarf. I just have a bandana. You might want a napkin or a dish towel. That's okay. If you want to get these things, you can go and get them now while we're singing our hello song. And before we get started, grown-ups, important announcement. It is now June, which means that summer learning has started with San Mateo County Libraries. And all that means is that you can keep reading over the summer and we have some new super cool programs happening online all summer. For more information, you can go to smcl.org and look up summer learners there. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and get started with our first song. It is called, Hello Everybody. It goes like this. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? <laughs> touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well done. That was so good. I would like to sing that song again, but maybe with a different body part this time. Hmm. Let's see what we can think of. Maybe our elbows. Where are your elbows? Oh, ho, ho, ho. these pointy things are right here. Okay, let's try elbows. We'll sing it again. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your elbow? Touch your elbow. Touch your elbow. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch elbow? Touch your elbows. That was wonderful. You're a very good singer. We could do it one more time, this time with another body part. Let's think, 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 think. That's a great idea. Our heads. Wonderful. We'll sing hello, everybody. Can you touch your head? Ready? Here we go. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your head? Touch your head. Touch your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your head? Touch your head. Well done. I always love getting to hear you sing. Okay, friends, I think we should go ahead and do some really fun wiggly finger songs. Those are always lots of fun. And I bet that this is one that you already know. Do you know a song about a spider? Yes, that's right, the itsy bitsy spider. Can you make some creepy crawly spiders with me? Good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sing it one time. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yeah. Okay, friends, with more songs that we get to do with our fingers, I'm thinking maybe we should do a tickle. Tickles are lots of fun to do with little babies or with your dog who's now sleeping way over there <laughs> or even with your stuffed friends. You can always tickle yourself too, or tickle your grown up if you like. I'll show you how to do this on Duncan. You can do the tickle however you want to on yourself or a stuffed friend or grown up, okay? We're gonna start on our foot. Can you make a tiny little tickle bug called a flea with your fingers? Little flea. Very good. Start on our foot. Goes like this On my foot, there is a flea. Now it's climbing up on me, past my belly, tickle, 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 past my nose, ooh, 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 itchy, on my head, where my hair grows, tickle. And then we go back down again. Are you ready? Here we go. 
on my head there is a flea. Now he's climbing down on me, past my belly. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Past my knee. Oh, knees are ticklish. On my foot there is a flea. We don't want him to stay there. Take that flea. Did your flea go away? Good. Okay, friends. And now that we have done that, another very good one that we can work on is a counting song. This is a song that I have loved to do for a little while. It's called Five in the Bed. Now, can you show me five fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers. That's right. We're going to sing a song about five children sharing the same bed which can sometimes be a lot of children to try to squish into one bed. So they need a little bit of room. And here's how the song goes. It goes like this. Oh, there were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. And now we have four. Okay, ready to sing again? Here we go. Oh, there were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Three, yes, three left. Let's sing it again. Oh, there were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Now, one, two. Okay, sing it again. Here we go. Oh, there were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Wait a minute. Now we only have one left. I think the song's a little different now, so sing along with me. Oh, there was one in the bed, and the little one said, ah, good night. <gasps> no, I didn't really fall asleep. <laughs> Thank you for waking me up, though. All right, friends, we've done a couple of finger songs. We'll do a couple of bouncing songs, okay? And then we'll do our first sign. So for our bounces, let's go ahead and do two of them. They are very quick, very easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it with Duncan. Bounces are fun because if you're little, you can still go into your grown-up's lap, which is lots of fun to bounce around on their knee like Duncan's doing with me. Or if you are big, you want to bounce by yourself, you can just jump up and down, which is lots of fun too, okay? I will show you how to do this with Duncan. So if you're watching with a grown-up, maybe you want to climb into their lap right now. Or if you have a stuffed friend, you can bounce your friend, okay? It goes like this. First thing we're going to do is say a silly word, cha-cha chaboggin. I'll do this one two times. So if you've never heard it before, that's okay. You can learn it. Goes like this, it's very short. Cha, cha, cha bargain, cha, cha, cha bin. Look out, little baby, you might fall in. Oh. <laughs> Duncan almost fell in a hole, but not really. I would never let him fall, just like your grown up would never let you fall. So let's go ahead and try this again, okay? We'll do it one more time. Cha 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 bargain, cha 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 bin. Look out, little baby, you might fall in. Oh. <laughs> That's always lots of fun to do. And one of the things that I really love to do with the bounce is called smooth road. It's another one where we're bouncing around, but then we pretend to fall. Okay, we'll do this one two times because it's so much fun. It goes like this. Oh, we're going down a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. 
We're going down a smooth road. But what's that ahead? Oh, we're going down a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. We're going down a bumpy road. But what's that ahead? Oh, we're going down a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. We're going down a rough road. But what's that ahead? It's a hole. We disappeared. We came back. <laughs> Did you fall in the hole? Well, maybe you will this time. Let's do it again. Here we go, a smooth road, okay? We're going down a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. We're going down a smooth road, but what's that ahead? We're going down a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. We're going down a bumpy road, but what's that ahead? We're going down a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. We're going down a rough road, but what's that ahead? It's a hole. We made it. Did you make it out? Good. Okay, just in time for our next song before we do a story. Now, if you've done story time with me before, you know that I like to sometimes do some signs. There's one sign. It's very, very, very important to know. Thank you. Whenever somebody gives you something, what do you say? You say thank you, that's right. And thank you, the sign is very easy, okay? It's almost like blowing a kiss. You know how to blow kisses? Okay, when you say thank you, you bring your hand up like you're gonna blow a kiss, but you don't need to touch your mouth. Just put it near your mouth. And then you take your hand away once. Thank you. Can you do that? Bring your hand near your mouth and then pull it away. Thank you. Thank you. So kids, while you're still learning words, saying thank you with your hands and your words at the same time can really help with those verbal skills. So grown-ups, if you want to introduce signs to your kids, just use them whenever you say the word, whenever you say thank you. If your child shares their toy, you say, thank you. <laughs> and they'll learn it quickly enough. And what's really cool is your child will start doing the sign back to you. It's really cool. And it's just another way to help us learn how to communicate. All right, I think it is time for a story. And then after that, we'll see if you remember the sign for, thank you. Okay, our story today is, hmm, right here. We are reading a book called One Minute by Somin On. All right, One Minute by Somin On. And I'm reading this book today on Hoopla, which is one of the places where you can read books for free online with your library card. One Minute by Somin On is brought to you by our friends at Chronicle Books, read with permission by them. One minute is 60 seconds. In one minute, the second hand moves 60 times while the long hand moves once. In one minute, you blink your eyes 20 times. Blink, 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 blink. And your hair grows 0. 0.00068 centimeters. This much. In one minute, you can hug your dog or say hi to your neighbor. Hello. Or plant seeds. Sometimes one minute is short. Sometimes one minute is long. <laughs> but if you are with your best friends, it is short again. Sometimes one minute is important because you have to hurry somewhere. Sometimes one minute is nothing. 
in one minute, something can happen. Oh, or something can be saved. In one minute, someone can leave and someone can arrive. The end. I love that book. It's so short, just like one minute. Now, do you remember the sign we just learned? After somebody has read a book to you and you're so happy they read a book, you would say thank you. But how do you say thank you with your hands? You ready to try it again? Bring your hand to your mouth and blow. Thank you. Like blowing a kiss. Ready? Thank you. Well, my friends, thank you for listening. Okay, and now we're going to go on, do a couple more songs, and play with our scarf before we say goodbye today. So friends, let's do some sound. All right, I think it might be time for us to go to the moon. All right, and that means one thing, we've got to put on our space helmets, and now we've got to pull on our space suits Oof, over your arms, ready to zip it up. Zip. Oh, almost forgot. I got to do it for Duncan. Zip. Duncan, going to the moon. Okay. Are you ready to sing zoom, zoom, zoom? I thought you were. Here we go. All right. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! Did you go up so high? Yeah, I bet you did. Are you ready to do it again? Me too. Okay, let's do zoom, zoom, zoom one more time. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In four, three, last one. Oh, that was so much fun, friends. Okay, I think now we're gonna go ahead and sing mm, two more songs and then play with scarves. All right, we've done the moon. Now let's sit in a boat. Okay, Duncan is gonna sit in my lap and we're gonna pretend we're in a boat. And I'm gonna get my oars ready because we're gonna sing row, row, row your boat, but with some extra steps. So are you ready? Oars at the ready, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ooh, okay. And now I think maybe our boat is going to rock. Here we go. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, whoa, okay, we're kind of moving around here. We're getting sort of twisty. You ready to twist? Here we go. Twist, twist, twist your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Whoa, okay, last one. The water's feeling a little bumpy. Here we go. Bump, bump, bump your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Whoa, all that bumping and twisting, we got water in our boat. Are you ready? We have to scoop the water out, ready? Scoop, 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 splash. Let's get some more water out of our boat. Here we go. Scoop, 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 splash. Last one, extra big scoop, 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 splash. We're safe. 
Thank you for your help. Okay, friends, we got all our water out of the boat, but now let's dive into the water and we can swim with fish. This song is called Bubble Bubble Pop. And we're gonna sing about one, two, three fish that are all different colors. So how about we start by singing about this color? Yes, red, very good. Okay, the song goes like this, one little red fish. Put your hands together, we'll make a fish. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Okay, if you've never heard that before, that's okay. We're gonna sing it again. This time about two fish, and they are, yes, green. Two green fish. And remember, you can go bubble, bubble, pop with me at the end, okay? Two little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Did you pop it this time? Okay, we'll try it again one last time. Three fish. And this time their color is yellow. Yes. Here we go. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water. Swimming in the water. Swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. You did it. Very good. All right, friends. I do think that now it is time for us to get our scarves. So if you decided in the beginning of story time to get something that you can use as a scarf to play with, you can go and get it now. Or you can go run and grab one if you want, okay? I have a bandana and my favorite thing to do with scarves is play peekaboo. You can play peekaboo lots of ways. You can put it on your own head, but if you don't like to, that's okay. You can always put a scarf on your grown-up's head or your friend's head. Okay, we will put it on someone's head and count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three, peekaboo. <laughs> yes, very good, friends. This time I think I'll put it on Duncan instead. Okay. Are you ready? Cover up again. Maybe your own head, maybe your friend's head. Cover, cover. And we'll count to three. Here we go. One, two, three. Peekaboo! Yay! Hi, Duncan! <laughs> that is always lots of fun to do. Okay, friends, we're gonna sing, well, let's do two more things and then we're all done, okay? So can you please scoot, 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 make your scarf very, very teeny weeny, teeny tiny, small in your hands? Oh, where'd it go? Yeah, it's right there. It's okay. You hide it in your hands and we're gonna make our scarves pop out just like a jack-in-the-box, okay? Now we have to say our special rhyme, and then we're gonna throw our scarves into the air. Lots of fun. Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will! Ah! That is lots of fun. And you can do that anytime you want with scarves at home. All right, I think it is almost that time for us to say goodbye. So. Let's sing, if you're happy and you know it, with our props that we had today. Here we go, okay? If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. Ah, if you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. If you're happy and you know it, hug a friend. If you're happy and you know it, hug a friend or yourself. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, hug a friend. If you're happy and you know it, wave bye-bye. If you're happy and you know it, wave bye-bye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave bye-bye. We'll see you next time.